Hey guys, welcome to Good Taker Lytical Coding Tutorial. This time we are going to solve Lytical Coding problem implement string stream method. So string stream method is a C++ function. So it takes a two string parameters. For example, here is a string haystack and another is a string little. So it returns an index of the first occurrence of little in haystack or minus one if little is not part of a haystack. So it's basically checking whether the string haystack contains a string needle. So if we find that, we should return the first index of occurrence of needle in the haystack. Otherwise, we return the minus one. So here I'm going to use an example to uh, demonstrate how to solve this problem. So for example, we have a two string. That haystack string is a good taker, and the needle string is a tag. So we are going to check whether haystack good uh, good taker string contains a tag string. So how can we solve that? So we actually we can have an iteration for the haystack. We can have a variable called i. So it iterates each character of the haystack. And we are going to check whether at any precisions we can iterate each characters of little. So we can have a j for little. So we are checking whether the each precisions we we can uh, iterate each character of a little. So going to four characters and if not fine, we move the i increase. And until we had a find some precisions, we can iterate each characters of a little. That's a place we find our i precision. So here we can first have a for loop that uh, i is going to iterate each precisions of the haystack. Actually, we don't need to iterate all the precisions. We just need to look through the first um, haystack dot length minus needle dot length precision. So for example, here the haystack contains a length of 10, 10 characters, and the needle contains just a four characters. So here, the last precision we need to check, start to check, is a seven precision. This seven precision we can check whether. Uh, contains a needle. If we, even at this seventh position, we didn't find the needle. For the rest part, we don't need to check because uh, this length is already fewer than the character length of a needle. So, so for this for loop, we can just have a for haystack dot length minus needle dot length plus one. And we, we can do this for loop. So inside this for loop, we are checking whether each characters we can iterate each characters of a little. So if any of the Next precision characters is not matching with the current precision of a little, we should break out this loop. So if haystack not equal to needle. We can break this. So in what situation we should confirm that we find the needle. So if the J, if we, we finish this for loop and we find that if the J is just equals to the needle length, at this time, we can directly return the I. So this I precision is a place that we can find the needle. Okay, let's go back to the 
problem. So I'm going to demonstrate how to coding in Java. So before we do the uh, iteration implementation, we should first uh, do some exception check. We should check whether the haystack or little is equal to null. If they, if I of them, either of them is a null, we should directly return minus one because we cannot find anything. And uh, now we need to first uh, iterate each character of the haystack. As we just uh, said, uh, we, we don't need to iterate all the characters of a haystack. We just need to return the first haystack first dot minus needle dot positions. And uh, for each I position, we are going to check whether the whether we can starting from that position work through the all the characters of a little. So pay attention here. I didn't declare the J inside this uh, for for loop. I will uh, tell you why. So, so if uh, at any haystack position, it's not equals to the current needle character, we should break out this loop. And uh, the place we find that a haystack contains a little is a place is a situation when the j is just equals to the needle dot length. So so that means uh, every characters of little have been worked through. So that's why I declare the j out of this for loop so we can use the here which if in this situation we can directly return the i that i position is a place that we find this needle if this for loop works uh, finished if we didn't find anything and we should directly we should eventually finally return the minus one so that's our coding. So let's uh, quickly check if there's a typo or something. So it looks good uh, to me. So I click submit button. Yeah, accepted. So our solution is correct. So by iterating each position of a haystack, and we check at uh, any of a precision of a haystack, we can work through the each character of a little. And uh, so that's a s algorithm and a, a solution for this problem. So uh, thank you for your watching. So this is a good taker need code coding tutorial. Bye.